Dr. Menhardt, for those people who weren't here before, please tell us what your speech was all about. Um, my speech was about the economic and political environment, and which in our view is characterized by um, four main topics. The first is a very high political and economic uncertainty mm -hmm. coming from various risks in our environment. Yeah. The second is unfortunately we live in a period of under average economic growth mm -hmm. on the global economy. The third is um, we see central banks uh, in a new role and a very critical role and we believe that the very expansionary monetary policy will continue. Um, but we also have at the very end good news we believe that innovation will be a major driver of economic growth mm -hmm. and digitalization will change the shape of the world economy. Okay, that's I assume also the reason why you have been invited to this conference, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, and the, the space economy, of course, from a global perspective is, let's say, a niche part of the global economy. But of course, it is very much influenced by global economic and political drivers. Mm -hmm. So everything um, that goes on in the world is of relevance to the space economy. And by the way, everything that goes on in the world is also of relevance um, to the insurance and reinsurance industry. Okay. In your opinion, should space and space risk be a chapter or an industry which should be only for the government or only for the private? Or do you think it's okay if both sectors work in that industry? Um, I believe that, first of all, the space sector is a very important sector for the future of the global economy. I also mentioned in my speech that, uh, for example, um, global data flows will increase a lot in the next years and the next decades. Mm -hmm. So sp the space economy is very important um, and part of it will always be, let's say, state supported. But um, I also think it's very important that we have a strong private part in the space economy. Okay. What is that one key takeaway that you want to share with people? What is the one mistake that people continuously do that you want to share with the world today? I think the most important thing is in times of high uncertainty, um, it is not possible to forecast the next big thing, to really know which of the risks will materialize. So the key message is that risk management and diversification are as important as they have always been. Okay, and I assume that your company also specializes in that. We are a reinsurance company and obviously risk management um, is one of the core competencies that we have. Okay, is there anything that we forgot talking about? Is there anything else you want to share with us? I think those were the most important things. Um, as stated at the beginning, um, our outlook it is not um, um, only pessimistic. We also see some good signs for the world economy, but we will have to really go through a few years where we also feel a lot of pain regarding economic risks. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for being here. Thanks. Thanks.